Alright, what's going on guys? Today we're back on Dreamscape and welcome to the ninth episode of my Iron Man series. This episode was definitely a grind and hopefully worth it. But anyways guys, Dreamscape has a score sponsored today's video and hooked you guys up with another huge giveaway. So let's jump right into that. First things first guys, make sure to join my Discord by using the link down below. That's where every giveaway winner is posted. And as well guys, I host a lot of giveaways in there as well. But there are a lot of prizes that are going unclaimed. So make sure to actually join if you do want to claim your prizes. Anyways guys, the first comment of the video is actually one of themselves a pet mystery box. If you guys want a better chance of winning the first comment prize on every video, make sure to enable post notifications by hitting the bell down below. And once again guys, I have two more of the 2k19 boxes, each going to one lucky commenter down below. These are worth $50 each to donate for and can actually give some really good rewards. If you guys want a chance to enter, just like always, all you have to do is like the video, comment your in-game name down below, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to turn on post notifications because on every video, the first commenter gets a prize. And as well guys, if you guys do want to check out the server upon arrival, make sure to type colon colon ref and then my name Eggy for a free tactical mystery box upon arrival. They're worth about $6 to donate for and can actually give you a huge head start into the game. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoy the ninth episode of my Iron Man series and let's get into it. As I'm actually recording this guys, it is currently Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas guys, but anyways, real quick, I'm going to be doing the 2019 Christmas event on Dreamscape. If you guys want to check out a guide, link down below, but it's honestly fairly simple. Speak to Santa, kill 75 elves. I'll see you guys in a moment. 75 elves completed, talking to Santa again, and we get ourselves the Snow Bazooka. Next guys, we have to go over here and kill 50 of the Snow Penguin. This is actually a lot quicker because you can actually one hit these, so jump over here, grab yourself a couple snowballs, fill up your snow bazooka, and start one hitting the rangers. If you do have a collector's necklace, this also does go by super quick because it auto picks up the starlight, but collect 50 of these and then we're pretty much done. And there we are boys, we got ourselves 50 starlight of Christmas, and speaking of Santa, good job, now we need to read this clue scroll. One last thing guys, run around RuneScape real quick. So over to the blue moon and Varrock for number one. And present number one. Next spot is going to be the City of Magic three cages over to Yanil boys. And grabbing number two. Present number three is going to be by the Restless Ghost in Lumbridge. And there we are. Now that we have all three, we're going to use the Scroll of Christmas, return back over to Santa for a little bit of a gift. Opening this up, what do we get? The full snowman set once again, and we get to keep the bazooka. On top of that, another 100k scavenger XP. Once again, guys, I love cosmetic collectibles. Anyways, guys, we ended off at 95 Slayer on the last episode, and I do want to continue that. So for a little bit, once again, I'm going to be power training through that. I will keep you guys updated at any level upgrades. Hey, 96 Slayer. These Phoenix actually give so much XP. That's crazy. I wish you could actually prefer tasks on Dreamscape. That would be sweet. Look at that, dude. 35k XP every kill. Unlucky dude, I actually missed it, but I got myself 97 Slayer. I really hope for another Phoenix task. This is crazy XP. Yo, I literally just called for that. 47 Phoenix. Easy, boys. Level 98, boy. And I didn't even miss a level. These Phoenix are actually crazy XP, bro. Boys, I've just waken up. Apologies about my voice, but 99 Slayer. There we go. Let's go prestige and access our first fucking shop. Finally. I think this is like episode 9, dude, and we finally get to spend some of our Slayer points. And prestige. Three-leggy Eggy has prestige with Slayers at level 1. Easy, dude. And viewing shop 1, guys, there's literally not a single upgrade for us. Uh, unlucky. That's a shit ton of cosmetics, though. Pog. Back over to the Slayer Guy for a little bit, guys. I'm actually kind of enjoying this because I do have to prestige three times to get to the Strike Worm King. Anyways, I'm probably not going to prestige the second time this episode. I'm just going to do this for another couple hours while I'm waking up. Yo, what the fuck? I killed one and got 85. Oh, that's so much quicker now. Easy. Yo, now that I've actually prestiged my Slayer, I'm finally getting myself actual good tasks. 40 Mage Grey to kill. Easy enough. Let's grind these out, dude. And if you guys don't know, the Mage Grey is actually where you get the Soul Flare, which I believe is the first AoE magic weapon. It's also a pretty strong weapon. Yo, 60k Slayer XP every fucking kill. Uh, boys, we are Seasons Pass Tier 302, so that means we get to claim ourselves the Dynamic Box, Seasonal Die, 40 mil DS coins, and the 4 Seasonal Dies. That's pretty much the end of the Seasons Pass for this season, sadly. The rest is going to be a shit ton of Dynamic Boxes, but either way, that's pretty nice. Now I just gotta figure out what I can actually die with all these things. Yo, 93 Slayer already. This actually goes by so fucking quick after you prestige. On prestige 1, you have to kill like mini titans and stuff like that. It's literally the worst XP in the world. At least most things after prestiging on Iron Man give some pretty decent XP. 70k XP every Chaos Elemental. Holy crap. Yo, 95 Slayer already. What the fuck? This is going by so much quicker now. I might actually go for prestige 3 the end of this episode. 
bro, before this I was getting tasks that gave 600 XP a kill. Now this is like 40k XP a kill. That was such a spike. Yo, 96 Slayer coming in hot. Three levels to go, boys. I actually want to see if I can grab myself a daily task of some Olaf. Real quick, what's my hard task? More Icy Skeleton or Necromancer. Fair enough. In the meantime, guys, back over to Slayer. What have we got? Chaos Elemental. That's actually a super good task. Yo, 97 Slayer. Yo, one more level to go, then we're prestiging again. Holy shit. Honestly, I didn't think I'd be prestiging twice this episode. That sped up so quickly. And again, boys, a 99 Slayer. You know what that means? Coming over to the Master, and once again, dude, prestiging to level 2. That actually gives us access to the second shop, which sadly, once again, doesn't really have much for me. Prestige 3 means that I can open up the third one, which does actually have quite a few upgrades. Like I said earlier, guys, I'm literally just watching a movie right now. So in the meantime, I'm gonna continue some fucking Slayer, shall we? Might as well, I'm on a roll. I have not gotten this much Slayer XP before. Yo, 94 Slayer coming in, guys. We got five levels to go. And we're actually be prestige level three this episode. That's actually crazy. I love the amount of stuff that I can get done while just chilling, watching movies on the side. Easy gains, bro. Yo, 95 Slayer, boys. We got four levels left, and then we're finally prestige level three. Looking forward to this. Yo, 96, boys. Three to go. Come on. I just want to get this over with, man. Two levels to go, boys. Come on. Yo, 98 Slayer Boy. One level to go, and then we can be Prestige level 3. That's actually so sweet. Honestly, though, I haven't been paying any attention if I've gotten any rare drops or not. 260k until 99 and Prestige level 3. This should actually be the last task until that. I'm so looking forward to this, boys. There we go, 99 Slayer again for the third time. Jumping back home real quick, we're going to Prestige ourselves and... Open up shop 3. This actually has a few upgrades for me. I'm not overly sure what the skull pet is, but the archers, seers, and berserker cape are really good for me. Sadly, they're 20k slayer points each. I have less than 1k points. It is still really nice to finally max out my slayer. To get to the strike worm king though, I do need level 135, so this grind is not over yet, boys. But for now, it is for me. I do want to jump back over to the daily task, because I started an icy skeleton. So I'm going to real quick finish this off and see what I can get for the reward. And as well, guys, I kind of forgot to open it all up last episode episode so this episode at the end of it we have a huge fucking opening look at all these souls come on boys kill santa yo if i get a rare drop here i will personally donate 50 dollars and get myself another christmas box come on ds give me a fucking drop he's got like 25 250 two bill a lot Bro, there are so many people here. There is zero chance i'm getting a drop jesus christ come on guys wish me luck what do we got today oh i got a pink santa hat not bad some charcoal. I guess I was a bad boy this year. Nice dude. Got some fashion scape though. Anyways, back over to the icy skeleton. Wish me luck. You know, I kind of find it unfortunate. Over 1100 kill count from these icy skeleton, and I've yet to actually get a notable drop or anything actually useful for me. Anyways, guys, 60 left, and this task is done. There we go, guys. 250 icy skeleton out of the way. And for a roll on our hard task for the day, guys. Come on. Dude, there were so many Asimovs. Hey, a Zebos ticket. That's not bad. It's actually pretty useful for me. But guys, before I do actually wrap up the episode, there is one thing I do want to take care of. We've got a juicy loot tab. This is actually crazy. I've been wanting to do this for such a long time. We have so many fucking keys to open, dude. So I guess we're going to be starting this little loot adventure over at the soul room, guys. So as you can see, I have quite a few chests. And the way I'm actually going to be doing this, my first tab on my bank is starting with my pink Santa hat. So if any new items actually come into my bank, that's how I'm going to see them. Because they spam in the chat and it's really hard to see them. Anyways, I'll see you after I use all of these keys real quick. Uh, holy shit, that is so many items. I was watching though, I didn't even get a single fucking rare. So sadly, the majority of these are either useless customs for me or just some cosmetics along the line. As well, guys, I have a raids queue real quick. Let's see if I get anything from that. Come on. Arcane Spirit Shield. All right. And 45 Infinity Keys. I've been saving these up for like four episodes now. Come on, let's see what we can get, bro. Spam up the inventory. Yo, Berserker Boots. Wait, holy shit. Wait, oh my god, dude. I wish she was a fucking range one, but oh my god, that's still amazing. Now I actually have the melee and magic variants. Dude, that is so fucking nice. I don't even know how rare that is, bro. An American Pernix body, that's not too bad. Elite Torva legs, last five. Come on, give me one more rare, bro. Unlucky. So it's uh, looking like I have a lot of organizing to do once again. Either way, I'm super fucking happy about those Berserker boots. Definitely worth, boys. As well, just gonna quickly combine two crystal keys, make two upgraded version. Honestly, don't even remember what I can get from this. A royal sickle. And an assault rifle. 
Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I seriously hope you guys are enjoying the Iron Man series. Stay tuned for episode 10 because I'm actually aiming for it to be about 30 minutes long. I'm seriously loving the server though, guys. Come check it out with me. Link down below. It's super fucking fun. But in saying that, I am going to wrap up the video here. I hope you guys are enjoying just as much as I am and make sure to enter for those juicy giveaways just as always and to join my Discord by using the link down below. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed and later. Thank you.